Here with associate head coach Logan Biddle, and uh, I, I got to say, I feel like I am in very capable hands right now because if you want to know anything about Robert Morris hockey or just like uh, want to grasp uh, historical knowledge of the program, you've been around RMU hockey for uh, over a decade now. I guess you're elbow deep in it. Um, so I guess that leads me to my first question: just what um, what brings you back, and what excites you about working with the women's team, and what excites you in particular about this women's team? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, Robert Morris, I've said it from the beginning, has always kind of been home to me um, when I decided to come here in 2004 to start the men's program and help be a part of that program. Um, it was kind of always my goal to get back here. And when the, the opportunity opened up in 2010 to come back and coach the women's team, uh, I took it and, and ran with it. And um, it's just a, it's a great family atmosphere at RMU and, and from the athletic department down and, and particularly our team, um, you know, our coaching staff's like a big family. And I think that kind of falls down into our, our players as well. And, and they treat it as such. And, um, you know, this year's team, I think, is kind of taken over the mentality of last year's team and teams before them and it's family first it's team first and um, all the rest of the stuff takes care of itself when you're looking out for each other and have each other's backs did you uh talk to derek at all by the way when you first got into coaching like for pointers advice anything oh no i would never do that no <laughs> no no i'm just kidding but um no he, he was a great person to learn under as a player um and his continuing to grow as a coach and it's funny because i can actually see how different he is from from day one till till now and um, but I definitely took a lot of my coaching stuff from, from him and, and former coaches, and, and I learn a lot every day from Coach Paul and Chelsea and Liam and, and former coaches that I've coached under as well. So um, it's a little bit of everything, but, um, you know, like I said, it's Robert Morris is such a family. It's, it's as easy as, as a phone call or a text message or stopping in the office to any of the coaching staffs here and I'd be able to learn a little bit. You, you mentioned briefly, uh, touched on last year's team. In what ways, uh, in your observation, is this year's team similar to, or for that matter, better? better than last year's team to this point. Well, I think really it's a different team, and that and that's one thing that we have to remember is um, with eight new players coming in and, and the and the graduates that we graduated last year, it's a different team. And uh, the great thing about it is they're they're forging their own identities right now, um, and, and they're really making a name for themselves as this year's the, the 17, 18 Colonials. Um, you know, you obviously want to embrace your history and look back and say last year was a great year, um, and we have uh, a lot of members on this team that learned from last year. Uh, but that being said, is is kind of from the beginning, day one, we wanted to forge our own identity this year and make things happen and, and make a name for our team this year. So. What impressed you the most about the team uh, coming together over those five series and coming away from that long road trip with a historically good record over that road trip? Yeah, I mean, it was it was a, a, a real test of the wills, I think, for the girls. And, um, you know, it's with eight new girls, I think it was a great uh, time for that road trip and to be able to get on the road and, and get to kind of know your teammates a little bit better and spend some more time with them. Um, it was probably a little longer than we would have liked. Maybe a couple of weekends would have been good enough. But at the same time, they learned how to handle themselves on and off the ice. And um, that's something that we're really, really proud of them is, is they, they kept their school up. Um, we didn't have any problems socially. And, and, and really, um, like you mentioned, the 7-1-2 and two record is, is pretty historic and pretty incredible in, in its own right. So, um, you know, I think it's just something to be said about this team and, and the fight that they have. And, um, you know, it, it bodes well for the future of this season as um, they've kind of taken that adversity that they had at the beginning of the year and, and we have that to fall back on now. And uh, coming off the Lindenwood series, a couple of other uh, impressive wins, 6 nothing and 4-2. You get another sweep, you come back home feeling pretty good. And uh, just looking at the scoring in that series, very balanced, up and down the line chart. And I, I, like, I think sometimes people take for granted how hard it is to get so many different athletes, especially the freshmen, the new ones, all on the same page together. And that seems to be happening right now. It's all starting to fall into place. Uh, do you sense that as well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that's one of the things that makes us a, a dangerous team is um, we have four lines that we know can go out and score on any given night. And we also have a, a decor that pops in a lot of goals. And then when you add in a goaltender or two goaltenders that are playing as well as ours are, um, we're a dangerous team. But uh, the, the, the great thing about it is this team is hungry to get better every week. And um, as great as the first 10 games were, it doesn't mean anything if we come out and don't do what we need to do this weekend. So, um, you know, we're, we're really working hard to come in and have RIT come in and, and we're going to take it to them as much as we can because we know in any league weekend, any game, um, it, you know, it can go either way. RIT's coming off a big win against Boston University last weekend, so they're going to be fired up and, um, and we know that. So um, our girls are getting ready and, and we're excited to be playing at home. 
And, and speaking of that uh, decor, you, you, you got Welshy, the career points record by a defenseman recently. You've got uh, Legu and Murphy kind of playing uh, carrot on a string with each other. They're racking up the career points and. Curly's out there. She's just a freshman. Who knows where she's going to be uh, in, in a few years. Uh, uh, what impresses you the most about that unit? Um, you know, I, I think it's the balance. Um, again, like we mentioned, it's nice to have, you know, four lines that you know you can trust to go out and, and score on any given night. And, um, you know, we have 6D right now that are playing consistently that we know that um, we know what we're going to get out of them every night. And then um, it, it may be a little bit of offense. And if it's not there that night offensively, we know that they're good shutdown defensemen. Um, they're able to, to control other teams' top lines. So um, we have faith in putting all six out in pretty much every situation, and that's something that a lot of teams don't have the benefit of. Um, so we're really, really happy with them. And again, they're a hungry group, like I mentioned. They're, you know, they're happy with where they're at, but they also realize that there's a lot of room to get better. And um, that's what excites me for the future of, of this team this year. And finally, just, I mean, as an ex-player, as a current coach, what does the pomp and circumstance of a game day at Robert Morris University mean to you? What's that going to be like Friday night? Uh, you know, it's awesome with the band. You know, we, the band has is, is, is really uh, built a great relationship with our girls and, and, and vice versa. And so we love having them out here. I think because we haven't played at home uh, as much this year, I think there's going to be a big crowd. And, um, you know, coming to the ring, coming to the island, you know, it, it's just something special about it. And um, it's, it's something that I've, I've been doing since 2004. And I tell you what, it never gets old. The second it does, I'm going to hang them up and go <laughs> find, find another job. Job. But, um, you know, it's, it's a really exciting time. And I think for our new girls, um, you know, the first time to play a, a regulation game at home, um, they're going to feel all the nerves and all that, that fun stuff. But, man, it's a great place to call home, and uh, we're excited to play here Friday night. And the Colonials uh, at last get to call it home. They get to call it a home game as they take on RIT Friday at 7.05, Saturday at 3.05. Associate Head Coach Logan Biddle, thank you, Logan.